Alright, and now we're going to go to number one, which I'm sure, I am pretty sure that all of you, all of you already know what's come, coming next. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the cheapest son of a bitch in Pokemon ever. Darkrai! That's right, that fucker made number one on the cheap list. Be well, I I'm sure you already knew that was happening. I mean, he's so fucking cheap with fucking Dark Void putting everybody to sleep. It sucks! It's not right. It's cheating, if you ask me. So fucking cheap that y you can't even go out and get a real Pokemon that can actually do something. Now, I have a couple suggestions how to make Dark Rai more fair in the battle field. In order to make Dark Rai more fair, the first thing we need to do is do something about Dark Void. But that's probably the only thing we need to do. So I've come up with a couple of solutions about Dark Rai's Dark Void. Number one, the first thing we need to do with it, or either do with it or something, the first thing we can do to make Dark Rai more fair is just get rid of the move Dark Void entirely. You want to fa you want to bring a fair Dark Rai? Don't bring don't teach a Dark Void. Just, just don't do it. Just boycott the move Dark Void, and then a Dark Rai will be 200 times more fair. Hell, I would even let I would even allow you to keep hypnosis. At least hypnosis doesn't put both of them to sleep and has a much lower accuracy than Dark Void does. It's not fair. It's cruel. So the next thing we could do is make Dark Void's accuracy lower and hit only one Pokemon. So it's just like a hypnosis knockoff, except you could give it a little more accuracy and put it in like a deep sleep or something that makes it for at least three turns or something. Its accuracy needs to be lower. So people actually have a chance of of beating it. And number three, or number three, you can keep Dark Void's accuracy and its effect, but for God's sakes, ten is way too much. I think Dark Void should only be allowed to be used three times. The lowest P power points of Pokemon history. Three times. That's all it can be used for. Three times. That's all we need to do, and then it, it, Dark Rye becomes his Dark Rye's popularity and power and multiple uses on Wi-Fi would all decrease if Dark Void was not there or its power points and its effect were decreased. I'm betting you that. I'm betting you eight million dollars that. So, that's my uh, my, that's another solution for Dark Void. Another solution for Dark Void would be uh. You need to, like, do something, I don't know. The combination with Dream Eater is also irritating. I hate Dream Eater. Uh, that's another dumb, bull bogus-ass move. So if you're fighting, the Dark Rai's weakness to fighting, so if you put a fighting Pokemon to sleep and use Dream Eater, then you're screwed. And then, uh, Faint Attack's a bitch with it, too. It's it's awful. It's, it's by far the cheapest Pokemon in the entire world. I... Some people argue that Wobbuffet is, but I faced a Wobbuffet. I faced like 20 Wobbuffets. They have not shown me any real threat whatsoever. Darkrai is a threat. It's not only a legendary Pokemon, which has a power. It can put banned people to sleep and stay asleep for seven turns. People ask lots of questions on Google, like, Why is Darkrai banned from the Battle Tower, but like Cresselia, its counterpart, isn't? I'll tell you why. Darkrai's banned from the Battle Tower, and Cresselia isn't, because Cresselia, again, is not any real threat. It may be a legendary Pokemon, but I believe Cresselia is the weakest legendary of all. Well, you could argue that the Lake Trio are, but for God's sakes, at least Azelf can know Explosion, for God's sakes. Oh yeah, Azelf, that's another thing that is in the Explosion spamming, spamming strategy. And Mesprit can know Copycat, that's a pretty good move. And, uh, you can see I haven't really caught that thing yet, because I didn't really care for it. But, uh, well, actually, I just haven't raised it in a long time. I rare candied my you can see with the action replay. What? It's cool. Bite me. So there were also contenders that did not make the list, like Stealth Rock. God, do I hate Stealth Rock. Oh, man, Stealth Rock. Oh, my Charizard. Stealth Rock is so cheap. And here's here's what my team was for one fight when I had Stealth Rock used against me. Articuno, Moltres, 
Charizard, and Zapdos. Yep, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Charizard and the Legendary Birds. Against a Stealth Rock, not so good. It cuts their HP in half. So basically, I, the other person was handicapped. It's like the Battle Arcade, where they uh, shot down the HP if you can land a fucking button. In this case, if you land a Stealth Rock, you win the match. It's like, stupid, it sucks, and it's, it's awful. It is the... Anyway, back on this Dark Ride trash. I hate that Pokemon. I hate it, and I will admit, I actually found the, the right way to get it on Wi-Fi, if you catch it at New Moon Island. I did that, I used the action replay to do the Dark Ride event, and my Dark Void missed all the time. Uh, it missed. Mine always misses, but my opponent's never does. It's like they're using like some accuracy power-up on it. Stick a Focus Sash or a Focus Band on number 10, and then you got an invincible piece of shit that no one can beat. If a Dark Rise faster than the god Pokemon Arceus, then we got some problems. Arceus, whatever the official pronunciation is. I like Arceus, though. If you don't like Arceus, you can bite me. That's how we're pronouncing it. Arceus. Arceus, yeah. Well, when you release an official pronunciation of the word Arceus, and then you put the pronunciation of Arceus on Battle Revolution, you can't decide to switch it right before its big movie. I seriously, I... I admit, I watched the movie, I sat through the entire movie pissed off that they were calling Arceus Arceus. It really made me mad. So, that's about it for cheap strategies. I hate the Quick Claw, I hate Blissey, I hate Dark Rye, Christ, I hate Explosion, I hate Sand Attack, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of the moves like Fly Dig or Dive either, I don't really like those moves. I hate, uh... How, uh, I hate how people bring shiny Pokemon on Wi Fi to show off, like, hi, I got a shiny Pokemon and you don't. Well, guess what? Take my shiny Crobat and stick it up your ass. I like my shiny Crobat. I don't care about your shiny Dark Rye. I don't care about your shiny Mewtwo. Mewtwo with a green tail. Ha, huh, that's funny. You are the man. Good job. Yellow Deoxys, Black Quasar. I don't give a shit. I caught a shiny Crobat. Well I, kind of really, well, I really found a shiny Zubat, but anyway, I got a shiny Crobat. I am damn proud of my shiny Crobat. I don't need a lecture from some hypocrite telling me that my shiny is not as good as their shinies. Everyone has at least one shiny Pokemon to show off. For me, it's Crobat. For you and your action replay, it's every single fucking one. So shut up. I would like to take your action replay and break it. My action replay is actually lost right now. I have no idea where the hell I put it. But anyway, uh, I just have no idea where the fuck it is. There you are, come on. Where are we going? We are going to Battle Revolution. I want to watch you lose some more. Shut up! I don't lose. I, 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 I fall victim to cheap strategies. Like what? Here we go again. Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. No, you cannot make excuses for what that Registeel's strategy was. He used Calm Mind and completely obliterated your Milotic. Shut up, that was number two. It was? What, what have you been doing this whole time? Top ten cheap Pokemon strategies. Well then, what was number one? Oh, guess, you dumbass. Just a guess, guess. Darkrai? Yup, that's right. How'd you guess? Because you told me to guess. Shut the fuck up. Mm. But hey, did he tell you that he disconnects every time he's about to lose? Shut up! Which is like every time. Shut up! I don't do that. Yes, you do. It, it's really funny. I like how that, uh, you were like, Oh, yes, I got Dugdrio one-on-one with Glaceon. <laughs> and now my Dugdrio knows Earthquake, I'm gonna kick their ass. But you completely forgot that Dugdrio was weakness to ice types. Shut up! That, that battle never happened. Don't listen to Kasame. Don't listen to him. <laughs> uh, and my favorite part is when you use uh, Earthquake on Flygon. That was funny. Will you shut up? I didn't know Flygon had Levitate. You raised a Flygon, you idiot. I know. Shut up. I never look at that shit. Like, sometimes I get... Dark, I, I don't look at abilities. Ever since I found about my Dark Rise Bad Dreams, I don't look at abilities. Now, come on. I'm gonna go kick some ass. Alright, let's go, uh, kick some ass. <laughs> yeah!